Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're back with our um, tutorial videos on Cubase 12, the digital audio workstation developed by Steinberg. So today we're going to work on our Windows, okay, Cubase Windows, specifically the project window. So what are you looking at right now is, in fact, the project window. Project window has several areas or zones. There's a project zone right in the middle, left zone to the left, lower zone below, and right zone to the right. Let's go one by one. Uh, the project zone is the one right in the middle. You can see it's horizontal. It's probably the biggest zone of, of the project window. And the most important thing is that it has your timeline. So you can scroll through the timeline. Right now, there's no audio recorded, so you don't see any audio clips or anything, but you can see you know, bar one, bar three, five, and so on and so forth. You can always zoom in horizontally or vertically. Uh, to have more detail there, okay? Um, the project zone also gives you a list of tracks, as you can see, guitar 01, 02, 03, and you got some options like muting, soloing, record enabling, monitoring, and stuff like that, okay? Um, not a lot of processing um, in the project window, and that's why we have the left zone. Left zone has two tabs, inspector and visibility. The inspector tab, it's, I guess, an expanded uh, list of tracks, like the one we just explained here on the project window, but this one goes track by track and it gives you more options, okay? So for example, if I have Guitar 01 selected, the inspector will show Guitar 01 and you'll see the same mute and solo and record enable and this and that, but you also have other options like volume, panning, uh, millis uh, track delay millisecond, uh, you can set your inputs, your outputs for each track. You can do track versions, chords. You can add EQs. You can add inserts on a on a per channel basis. You can work on your sends, your fader, and and quick controls. Uh, keep in mind that if you click on another track, let's say Guitar O2, your inspector will also switch to O2. Now that's the inspector tab of the left zone, the visibility tab of the left zone lets you show and hide the tracks um, that you want. So for example, let's say Guitar 01, I don't want to see it. I can just click on that little check mark and now it's hidden and now it's back, okay? So that's that. Now you also have your right zone. Right zone has four different tabs. First is the VSTi tab. If I had any kind of VSTs like virtual instruments, here I would see a list of virtual instruments and some parameters um that i could if i want it um tweak okay so you see like little knobs and things like that now you also have a media tab this is very cool because the media tab basically lets you uh browse through your vst instruments vst effects loop samples presets and so on and so forth and once you click on it you can basically just click and drag into your project uh any of those so I guess it's easier to just click and drag than having to find it from a list or something. You also have a control room tab. Uh, we explained that in a previous tutorial on control room. But once again, all the control room features that you would find in the monitoring section of an analog board. And last but not least, you have a meter. Really important, meters. Uh, right now your meter is set to your master and you can always um, switch the scale from digital to EVU, K14, 20, 12, and so on and so forth. Uh, it'll show you also the max RMS as well as peak max. Uh, it'll also show loudness. Uh, when I say loudness, I mean uh, LUFS, okay? And the very last zone, the lower zone. Lower zone, it's like a smaller version of the mix console. Uh, you can see on a per track basis, you can see the faders associated to each of the tracks. You have mutes and solos, you have pan pots, um, you have automation read or automation write. You got the names and everything. So if you're more into like the old school analog board kind of mixing, this would be, um, you would feel like at home when you see this because there's actual faders with meters right next to them. Um, now the below area not only shows that mix console, it also has an editor, a sampler control. If you have samples, you got a chord pad. So um, you can use the chord pads for your instrument tracks. 
in your MIDI remote if you were, um, you know, if, if you had some kind of MIDI controller connected to it. But, you know, 90% of the time, you'll be using your mix console down here. So that's the project window in Cubase. Uh, we're going to keep talking about these windows. Um, so stay tuned for the next tutorials. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.